quiet to me. No? I used to talk a lot. Um, Did you get in trouble in school for talking in class? Yeah. Yes, I'm a weed smoker. It sounds weird saying it because I'm not a person that promote that, even though I did put it in one of my music videos, but I'm not out with it like that. Weed has always been a part of my environment. Going to the park, playing basketball, you'll have people sparking up. Then in your neighborhood, you have people sparking up. So it's just like, it's all around you. But you know, Haitian parents, they don't play that. God, God, it's off, I feel man, cock. I would say what, the first time I would really get into it is probably like 18, 19. I had tried it before, but it didn't stick to me. But this one time, this one time I remember I was, uh, I was with my friends and I was going through a real rough patch. I was kind of deciding on what path I wanted to take because you know, I used to play basketball. I was training to see if I could make a college team, different trials, different camps, trying to put myself out there. One thing I would say is when your confidence goes, you can't play no sports because confidence is the key for anything that you do. You have to have confidence in yourself. That's why I tell people, have confidence in yourself first and everything else will play out. Like I said, I was going through this rough patch in my life where I was kind of like deciding on what I really wanted to do and it was introduced to me. I've been hooked ever since. Me and Weed have a love-hate relationship. Now, as I got older, I understand the value of it. I tend not to abuse it how I used to because I used to use it as a coping mechanism and that where everything goes wrong. Nowadays, I use it as a, a tool to help me meditate, a tool to help me reach another level. Side story to the basketball shit, right? One day I, I went to the gym to go to work out and who I'm normally one of the top players in the gym every time I show up, right? But today, Andre Drummond decided to show up and he brought college players, players overseas. We played two games against them. I scored, but I played terrible according to my standards. I didn't realize how the talent gap is so vast and how much work I had. I wouldn't say it broke me in that sense because I was already broken in the first place. Because, and the reason why I say that is because I didn't have the confidence in myself. It only took me time to reflect on my past in order for me to understand that. And I'm still working on my confidence to this day. You know, everything is levels and steps in order for you to get better at it. I just woke up one day, I was just on some Kobe shit. I literally woke up for like two, three weeks, 6 a.m., run to the gym, work out, go back home. This time I was going at school, so I would go to school and then later in the day, go back, work out, then at, later at night, lift. So that was my schedule. One day I was smoking and the thought of like, yo, how long do you think that this could last? Like, you chasing this dream. During that time, I was working a job, but I was dead broke. You get the paycheck on Friday, by Saturday, that shit is gone. It's like I'm repeating the cycle of working. I never get to save and see my work double and triple like man something has to change and i made the decision that i had to put basketball to the side man it hurt a lot i picked up two jobs at the time just working my ass off trying to save trying to get extra money any way i can because i wanted to change my life uh there's things in my life that was going on i was at a lower version of myself my teeth look good now, but they were fucked up. One, cause of basketball, and other, um, two, just, just genetics. I was working, just working, just grinding each and every day, just trying to get better. We was there the whole, through the whole process. And I was, at that time, I was a heavy user. And then another thought came up to me. It was like, yo, do you really need to use this much? 
And then once that thought came to my mind, I was like, no, I really don't. And then that's when my whole life started to change around like being more disciplined, being more disciplined in my life in a general, because that's the reason why I didn't succeed as a basketball player in the first place. I wasn't disciplined enough. I wasn't structured enough. I had the dog in me, but some days I would be too passive. And that was the misdirection of not succeeding. You gotta have that killer mentality each and every day in order for you to see to reach the level that you want to be. That's how my life has changed for the better and that's how I want whoever's viewing this video for their life to change. Sometimes we go through life and life takes us through valleys, mountains, knowing that the desired destination isn't where you're meant for you to be. And it's up to you to find your place in this world because the world is cold, man. The world will chew and spit you the fuck out. Pretty much without these events in my life, I want to be the person that I am today. So I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me. Um, all the lessons that I've learned throughout the years. Just grateful in general. This video felt really good, even though I always share my experiences with you guys. But some things you have to express. Now I feel way better. Now I'm about to go smoke me a blunt. Peace.